What's up guys, this is your man John Marcus and you're watching Adventures in the Land of Lakes and Volcanoes. Nicaragua is at the center of Central America. Nicaragua internationally is known as the Land of Lakes and Volcanoes. That is because Nicaragua is filled with lakes, volcanoes and is rich in natural resources. Today I'm going to take you on an exciting adventure. Because I'm going to take you to El Cerro Negro. That's a volcano that is located at least 25 kilometers northeast from the city of Leon. Nicaragua houses at least 50 volcanoes, some active and some inactive. Today I'm going to take you on this exciting journey. So make sure you stay in tune. de 1850, estamos hablando que tiene 171 años, 23 erupciones eh, en toda su historia, la primera pues de la, el 13 de abril y la última que fue en 1999, que de todas las erupciones esa de abril ha sido la más pequeña. El más joven en todo el mundo se llama Paricutín, nació en el estado de Michoacán en México en 1943. No fue gran noticia porque bueno, ustedes saben, en esa fecha el mundo estaba sumergido en la Segunda Guerra Mundial y prácticamente todo el mundo estaba viendo hacia Europa mm -hmm. y hacia el Pacífico. Pero bueno. Ok, so we are climbing up the volcano and um, one good recommendation is to bring good clothing. Make sure you bring, you know, boots, uh, good shoes and also good clothing because the sun, the heat, I mean, at this moment it's not hot. It's just cool. It's around 9 o'clock, maybe 8.30. And I'm breathing hard. So you have to be in good shape. It's good exercise. The view is beautiful. It's wonderful. The breeze is, the place is very cool. The breeze is, uh, the oxygen is pure and it's, uh, it's a great activity to do in the morning. The best time to do it is in the morning. If you do it in the afternoon, then you know you will have the sun against you. The sun and the heat will be against you. So. Make sure you bring water, make sure you bring, uh, you can bring snacks. Uh, make sure you prepare your mind because it's a lot of walking. And um, well, if you notice the steep slope of the Cerro Negro is 
has no greens, no trees. But then farther down, you'll see uh, the greens. But I'm loving it. If you love adventures and the feeling of adrenaline that it brings, Cerro Negro is the way to go. This incredible volcano has an altitude of 728 meters above the sea level. It is located 25 kilometers from the city of Leon and is one of the most active volcano in Nicaragua. It is also considered the youngest volcano in Central America. The name Cerro Negro is due to its black sun and is the only place in the world where sand boarding is practice. It is often visited by tourists for its extreme sport activities or to simply observe the beautiful view from the top of the volcano. Okay guys, so right now Luis, the tour guide, will give us instruction on how to use the board. Um, make sure you pay attention, um, give heed to the instruction that um, your tour guide will give you and um, everything will go well with you. It's very, very windy. van a arrancar, eso uh -huh. se vuelve frustrante entonces siempre a la última sesión y al centro si ustedes se sientan del lado van a perder equilibrio y van a caer que controlar bastante el balance y eso se vuelve al final no tan cómodo regla 3, hay que agarrar bien la cuerda, no importa si la agarran así o así, esa es su decisión como la van a agarrar, pero agárrenla bien porque si se caen y no la agarran la tabla se va y pierden la oportunidad de continuar de Mientras sí. que si la agarra bien y se caen, cuando detienen la tabla, se sientan y vuelven a iniciar. Ojo, caerse de la tabla no es algo tan peligroso que digamos, es algo súper común que pasa acá. Recuerden que van sentados y lo único que los separa de la arena si es... Si nos caemos, como... vamos a ir así rondando. Por no, tú te caes ahora en los brazos. Eso es todo. La regla 3, sus pies siempre tienen que ir fuera de la tabla. Perdón, regla 4. Mucha gente hace esto tratando de ir muy rápido. ¿Qué pasa? Al ponerle peso a la tabla, ustedes eh, pasa lo mismo que sentarse acá. El frente baja y se va pegando en la arena. Pero si al final logran coger velocidad, la tabla va a cabecear y lo va a botar. Entonces, siempre hay que llevar los pies fuera. Esto les da balance y les da eh, control de velocidad si quieren ir lento. Igual, si quieren ir rápido, les da el balance. Guys, 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 we made it. We made it. It was a marvelous experience. Climbing up, coming down, it was great. Do not panic, make up your mind. And um, so when you're coming down, use your, your, your feet as uh, brakes and you use the string that is on the board 
to increase or decrease speed. Um, do not miss the chance to come here. So this experience was marvelous. From above, you see the view, you see Nicaragua, nature, you see other volcanoes. Man, it was good. It was really good. So if you like my videos, make sure you subscribe to Adventures in the Line of Lakes and Volcanoes. Like, follow, share, and subscribe. Peace.